at what point should Pokemon International delay the release of Fusion Strike? Guys, this set is being plagued with issue after issue after issue, and I think at some point Pokemon International has to realize that it's going to be better for everybody if they push back that release date, maybe two to three weeks, maybe push it into December to get that release. I know that they're trying to be Christmas, of course, they're trying to get that out there before then for the holiday sets, but at what point do you just decide we can't do this and push it back? If you're new here, guys, hit that subscribe, hit that notify, and hit the like. We can get 20 likes, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. If you like this kind of content, we always cover investing, marketing news, and also just what's happening in the Pokemon TCG on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We also do a product opening on Sunday of the latest Pokemon TCG, so you can see what's inside and make a decision if that's something that you're looking for for yourselves. But we're going to go ahead and talk about Fusion Strike because it's... There's just been kind of just one thing after another after another with this set. We were concerned about this happening back in June when we found out that they were going to try and do, of course, their standard four sets in five months. That was really unbelievable that with the supply issues, their inability to keep up with the current sets that were already out with Battle Styles and Shining Fates and Vivid Voltage, that they were actually going to attempt to do that many sets all at once. And I feel that exactly what we were worried about has come to light. We are not seeing their ability to create this product. They fell behind in celebrations. They had delays in celebrations. And that's just trickled down right into Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, last month we had found out was going to be cut by 70%. They were only going to send out 30% of the original first wave. And that really threw up a lot of red flags for people because... That means there's going to be a lot of fighting for a little amount of product for tournament players to try and get this set. This this is a big issue because if they release on the 12th and it takes them a month or two or even three, four months to get the product up to a level that's acceptable for tournament players to actually get this in their hands, that cuts down the amount of time the tournament players can actually use this. So that's the number one problem, is that you're going to cause an issue for tournament players and the amount of time they can play this. Second thing is, is that you're going to bring a lot of flippers, a lot of scalpers, and a lot of the first, first market's going to get pulled into the secondary market extremely quickly with no relief to be able to find this. I think that their plan is probably going to be there's going to be a wave 1A and a 1B. I'm sure that we're going to see a first wave of Fusion Strike come out right now on November 12th. And then early December, we're probably going to see a quick second wave or wave 1B to try and get more of that lost 70% out of the people. But until that happens, you're going to see pricing really spike on the set. One thing that we also need to look at when it comes to Fusion Strike is, is that if you bring all this back into it, you're going to cause a lot of ripples and people upset with the fact that they can't get this product. So, once again, guys, would it be better to take Fusion Strike from November 12th, push it to December, which would be a much more obtainable goal for the Pokemon TCG? The printing companies would have an opportunity to maybe get another 40%, so get 70% of that product out instead of 30%. If that's feasible and obtainable, then why not do that? Um... With the way the supply chains are this year, with the delays and everything that's happening right now in the world, nobody would be surprised or upset if you were to take the set from November 12th and push it to December 1st. It, it wouldn't be a problem. Nobody, Everybody would pretty much understand the facts that this is happening. I don't think there's a single tournament player or collector or anybody that's just involved in Pokemon TCG that would be upset besides flippers and scalpers who are licking their chops right now at the opportunity that's coming. So, once again, let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Should Pokemon International really entertain the idea of pushing Fusion Strike from December 12th into December? We can't even get the pre-release. Right now, we should be talking about pre-release tournaments that should have been scheduled this weekend. But once again, we can't because we couldn't get the battle boxes for the pre-releases. They've been delayed one week, so now pre-releases pushed one week already to November 6th. So, once again, another product from Fusion Strike delayed, and it's just going to continue to be an issue. 
Now let's look at this from the other side of the coin. Let's go ahead and go talk about this from the investing aspect. As an investing aspect, this is fantastic, guys. There isn't much product. There isn't much, very much of that wave coming. You're only getting 30% of an original wave. And you know tournament players want this because they're trying to work with the battle styles theme with the rapid strike and the single strike to bring in this fusion strike into a tournament play. So you're getting tournament players really excited wanting this set. Now, as an investment, any product that you can get below MS at MSRP or below is an awesome buy on the release week. If you can get booster boxes at that 100 to 110 mark, if you can get the sleeves and all that at about four dollars if you can even get some of the three packs and that at the 12.98 that they normally sell at you will see them products go up fairly quickly and the only reason that is is because there's only 30 percent available guys any of that stuff will be easy flipping because of that fact how long it'll last until that wave 1b i'm gonna call it's gonna come i'm assuming that'll be there probably in early to mid-december when that comes, of course, that'll finally bring that wave in, but it's going to spread it out to where there might be some really great opportunities. So as an investing aspect, guys, this is a great opportunity if you can find, if you, keyword, find some of this product available in some decent amounts. If you could get a box, you're going to see these prices follow Evolving Skies probably really quickly. It's going to be up over that $150 mark within a few weeks. You're probably going to see it pushing $200 in a month if they cannot get the remaining 70% of that first wave out. So definitely look for booster boxes at opening. Get ready to sell them fairly quickly and keep your ear to the ground for when you might be hearing anything about that second part of that wave coming out. Definitely get become friends with an LGS because typically they're really good resources for you to be able to talk to them and find out when are they expecting these products. Um, I know that they say that Fusion Strike is delayed by, the pre-release was delayed by a week, but I talked to the LGS this weekend, our local one, and they pretty much, she told me that they don't have any confirmations for the ETBs. They don't have any confirmations for any of the booster boxes or anything on their shipment yet for the actual Fusion Strike set. So I would not be surprised right now if you're in the investing site looking for this product, it being delayed. Um, we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see if Pokemon International is somehow going to forward forward with this and, and push it through. But if they don't, expect this week that we will be hearing about the delay on that. Um, like I said, just something to be looking for. Definitely some good opportunities out there on the investing side. Some really good opportunities to make some quick money on just the flipping to get this stuff to tournament players. And definitely be looking for the product if they do release on November 12th because there's only 30% of that wave. It's a great, great marketing opportunity for you guys. But we're going to go ahead and wrap that up. If you have any comments, please put them below. Curious to hear what you guys think about this, either the investing side or on the actual set itself. Should we delay it? Do you think that this is a good thing for the Pokemon TCG? But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you like this kind of content, please enjoy these two videos over here. And we will see you next time here on Northwoods Collectors.